Hi everyone. Apologies about the poor weather today. You might be able to pick up a little bit of the rain on the audio, but there's nothing I can do about that. But what we're going to look at today is another analysis video, and it's another motorbike clip where unfortunately a pedestrian gets struck. First things first, this lady who was struck by the motorcycle, she was obviously injured, we could all see that from the clip, but thankfully, even after spending a few days in hospital, she recovered without any lasting damage, so that's first of all nice to hear. The next thing, massive thanks to my viewer who sent this clip in, it does take a fair bit of courage sometimes to put yourself out there in the public eye. But really well done to him and everyone else who has sent clips in. These clips allow other people to learn and possibly not get themselves into that same situation. So if everyone could still keep on sending them to the same places, that would be much, much appreciated. These situations where you've got two different sets of lights telling different drivers different things are quite common. Here's a junction quite close to where I live. This young lady to the left is dealing with it perfectly. She's waiting until it's certainly clear for her to cross. She didn't assume that all the cars were waiting just because the one to my right was. But not all pedestrians are going to be this sensible, unfortunately. My viewer was also in contact with the police due to this incident understandably if anyone is injured the police have to get involved and he was cleared of any wrongdoing which i think is absolutely spot on uh, the speed limit on the road was 40 miles an hour the motorcyclist was never doing beyond 30 um, and it's something that honestly was really difficult to spot and it's just one of those unfortunate incidents but is there anything else maybe that me or you, if we were put in that same situation, could have done differently to maybe stop it happening. Let's have a look. This incident happened on Edinburgh Way in Harlow in Essex. As I've said, the speed limit's 40, but the motorcyclist is driving to the conditions because it's wet. As the motorcyclist approaches the junction, the pedestrians don't look whatsoever and just step on out. And this happens all the time. Have a look at this situation with this pedestrian crossing. And it's the school kids on the right who see the van, doing the correct thing, stopping, but then they assume everyone else is stopping and they just walk out. It's a good job my pupil was switched on enough to know it was going to happen. I didn't even have to remind them. So could the motorcyclist have done any better? Let's have a look. Even though the motorcyclist was riding well below the speed limit, this for me is shouting out danger. As risk is increasing, I would have been slowing down even more so. 
And even though responsibility needs to lie with the pedestrian to actually look, I would have been taking every possible action to stop this incident from happening. For me, there's also a massive danger from behind the silver van to the right. Too many people are scared to use the horn in situations like this, but it would have been a perfect solution. Here's a clip from that same junction with the set of lights near me. It was one I was saving for a weekly learning point, but it fits into this video perfectly. Classic situation. Are these people going to cross? So I'm sounding my horn. This freeze frame perfectly explains the usefulness of the horn. Every single pedestrian, including the two dogs, are looking at me. Just to ensure they've all seen me. Looking at me as though I'm a complete nut plonker, but it's only that lack of understanding of the horn. So when you have those dual lights, expect those pedestrians to just walk across. Might that have made this clip oh so different? How would this make you feel? So, just in summary, what can we really learn from this? Um, when there are two different sets of lights, obviously pedestrians are sometimes going to do silly things and walk out. Not all pedestrians are drivers. They don't understand all the time on how the roads work, so don't think that that is going to be the case. We saw the incident with the kids walking out from behind the van. Kids are especially silly in situations like this and again i've said it on many videos and i'll probably say it many times again we're in a big metal box and we've got to look out for other people outside of that metal box and even motorcyclists compared to a pedestrian you've got loads of protection so you're always going to win in a fight with a pedestrian so do what we can to stop these situations happening but thanks a lot for watching as always and i'll see you all soon